Rajoy Shah, a name that runs a chill down your spine. But what's it like for those who have to spend years, if not their entire lives, inside? Every country has its own system and its own way of treating convicted felons. Today, we're having a rare glimpse of what life is like for these people behind the bars in Iran. Most of these people are sentenced to life without parole. Some are on death row. This is the true end of the line, and these people have absolutely nothing to lose. And yet, life goes on. Without the bars and without the uniforms, these people did not look any different from those we know outside. I talked to one of them who had studied engineering in Canada, guilty of killing five people over a family will dispute. We have, you know, several things to do. Uh, as I said, you know, I go to the classes, cultural center, I use the big library that is there. It's a very large library. And uh, we have Quran classes, you know, here held every day almost. And uh, then we go to the yard, you know, outside. We can do uh, sports there, we can exercise. To err is human. But how tolerant can the society be? Islam tells us to respect the human rights of prisoners, even if they've committed the worst crimes. Head of the prison explained that the aim of imprisonment is not simply to punish the criminals, but to help them reintegrate in the society and experience a better way of life. At the moment, 200 inmates are studying in Iran's open university here and are completing their bachelor's degrees. We also offer vocational programs. Many of those who participate gain a foothold in the society. This prevents many of them from committing crimes again. Despite these efforts in Iran, the number of prisoners is on the rise. The reason behind the increasing number of prisoners is the fact that Iran is a transit route for drugs produced in Afghanistan. Since the U.S. invasion, the amount of opium produced there has increased 40 times. According to official estimates, Iran's battle against drugs costs the country around $1 billion every year. And over 3,700 combat forces have so far lost their lives in the fight against drug trafficking. Now, with experts pointing to drug-related crimes as the reason behind the increase in the number of prisoners, it seems that Iranians are paying the ever-increasing price of Western policies in the region. Pisumisha Ahmadi, Press TV, Tehran.